Temperamental me. I'm not even in the fucking frame. Oh fuck, you're here already. The beautiful and temperamental me has arrived. Cheers. So first impressions, I am looking at everybody who's in this group and I'm just like, back by unpopular demand. The Drag Ball, season three, episode one. Um, Ultra. Ultra is here. Yeah. I was really excited to see some faces that weren't from Bad Queens Club be on the season. Like Orchid, uh, let's see. Orchid, Lestiana, Flo, all of them. I'm so excited to see. <laughs> Hi, how are you? Hi, my name is Anne Hathaway. I'm 37 years old, and some fun facts about me. Um, I've never worn makeup, I've never worn a wig, and I'm not a faggot. I am familiar with Lydia from other online competitions, and I'm really excited to see what Lydia will do, because Lydia is somebody who I think is excellent, and A1 presentations with looks, with hair, um, from what I've seen, her personality is all right, too. So the drag ball, it's back in session. I am very excited about the setup for season three. So we are divided into two groups and we will be competing, uh, I think for five challenges for each group, maybe. And, um, at the end, there will be a top competitor from each group who will go head to head in the finale to decide who wins. <gasps> I'm so excited it's gonna be so much fun um mostly because i'm fairly confident in myself this time around uh and i can't wait to like plan certain looks speaking of certain looks this week for my group at least we got to choose different challenges from the past to do and it was like time travel um acid trip vampire and something else that's escaping my mind but I chose Vampire because I got to do Time Travel and Acid Trip on my season, which I won one of them, and I got high in the other one. Oh my god. Anyways. Lydia literally is an angel. I feel like her and I have the best chances of being the top two. Mirage as well. No. Oh. Aren't you gonna say hello? Hi, so it's me, Ms. Mirage, and I'm not wearing pants. Mirage is such a treasure, oh my god. Um, she's so funny in her Meet the Queens, and I'm honestly like a really big fan of hers. Like I've competed with Mirage, this is our third competition together, and she's always, always beat me into the finale and won a race that I was on too. So um, she's definitely a huge threat, but she's also one of my best friends. So um, it's an equal Libra type of balance right there. Mirage's level of detail and conceptualization, it's so good. 
and they're such a talented performer. Um, I got the luxury of watching them on uh, Hot Messiah's live stream the other night, and that was really cool to watch. And now let's talk about Ultra. Have fun in the bottom two, because <laughs> I know you're not going to make it to the end of this race. Hi, my name is Lady Dior Gypsy. I am 24 years old and I am from Huntington, West Virginia. You know, as far as uh, the other girls in the competition goes and stuff, I'm still getting to know a lot of them. Um, you know, a few of them I know from like Instagram and like other drag races and stuff on there, but a lot of them I just don't know yet still and I'm still getting to know them. But I don't know, it's really hard for me to connect with people online like that and to actually form relationships with people that I haven't physically met in person. So it's just difficult for me. But I am hopeful to still continue building this sisterhood with these girls and see what they bring the next few weeks because I know I'm going to be bringing the best that I got. Lady Dior Gypsy. She's not my personal style, but... Um... If there's one thing I learned from doing competitions like online and stuff like this, you can't count anyone out. I'm Lady Dior Gypsy. I'm familiar with um, other members of her family. I haven't really talked to her that much, but she seems really lovely. And I know that if she's anything like the rest of her family, she's perfection. Um, let's talk about the people I do like. <laughs> so I really love that my sisters Orchid the Queen and Lady Dior Gypsy is in this race with me. Yes, we are going to be slaying it side by side. And I also think that Lydia is going to be quite the competition. Looks like I have to teach these girls a little lesson. Um, so far for my confessionals, all I have to say is that I'm excited. I think you guys will love it. Um. I'm a coxswain. Um, I don't really understand the name. Is it like, I'm a cock, son? I don't know. Please explain it to me. It could be something that I'm not getting. But, um, I'm not sure what she has to offer because... I don't know. I'm excited to see. Please do something that's going to blow me away because that has happened before in the past. I've been working really hard, even though it's only been like one challenge and I've only recorded one challenge so far. Shot in the dark. I have no idea how well they're going to do um, or what to really expect from Emma. Emma's kind of like my wild card, so we'll see what happens with that. Oh, another thing that I have to confess is that in the Meet the Queens video, I actually lied about my age because I think I was just nervous or whatever. Never really done anything like this before, so I guess it kind of happens. But instead of me being 24, I'm actually going to be, I'm actually 25 now. About to be 26 in like three days. So by the time you guys see this, I'll already be like 26, so it doesn't really matter. But yeah, I'm 26. People who I'm not too worried about would be, like, Emma or, like, Ultra. Um, mostly because Emma, I feel me and her on, like, different wavelengths of drag. I'm more of, like, a spooky and she's more of, like, a pageant. And Ultra is because no one likes her. So for this week, I wanted to bring to you post-apocalyptic couture, traveling to the future of 2040. This is the look that I would wear if I were to survive the apocalypse and tear some bitches apart. I wanted to make sure that I got all my bases covered and made sure that I hit a home run with this look. And damn do I look smashing. Oh my god, hi, it's me, Mirage, and this week, I got assigned Bill. And this week, I wanted to go for like a new fringe um, illusion. I wanted to give you kind of blood witch, and I feel like I felt that. My Mallory heart is short too far. I could crawl around the floor just like I'm real, like you.
problem today. We got ladies' problems going on. That's right, ladies. If you in a relationship, okay, and you ain't, you know it ain't going to matter in a day's time, in a week's time, in a year's time. You know what you say? You say, you know what? It ain't no thing. It's a hair flip. And you flip your hair and you move on, ladies. That's right. If it ain't no thing, you say, it's a hair flip. It's whatever. <laughs> Group two, and welcome to the Drag Ball season three. Oh my god, my hair. Okay, now I'm starting critiques. Starting with Lydia. I am so proud of you. This look was literally amazing. Like, my jaw dropped when I saw it. Your makeup this week is phenomenal. The outfit is cute. Everything about it is great. I even like the wig and the half bald head. Everything here was just impeccable. Great work. Next up is Orchid. Okay, so I really actually enjoyed your look. I love your makeup this week, and I really like the outfit. I do not like the wig at all with this look. I just don't think that it fits the look. But the rest of the look is great. I think you look really good. I think it's very trippy, and I think you really sold the challenge. Next up is Emma Coxon. Okay, so... You did celebrity impersonation and did Chris Crocker. I think you did a good job whenever it comes down to the impersonation. You did look like Chris Crocker. I do think that out of all of the outfits the week of this week, yours was the weakest outfit. I think that we have to be really nitpicky. So it's not that I didn't like the look because you really did do a good look. You sold the look and it fit the challenge really nicely. It just was really weak on the outfit department this week. Next up is Mirage. Mirage, I'm going to be honest, I'm not really seeing very much filth here, and that was the category that you chose. Um, I do like the look. It reminds me of um, The Witch from Left 4 Dead, but I just think that there's, like, not really that much filth in it at all. And then um, you, like, took a red, like, beaded thing out of your mouth, and it wasn't, like... I don't know if it was supposed to be blood, but it just really didn't sell it to me this week. It was a good look. I just don't think it fit the category as much as it could have. Next up is Ultra, and you did time travel. I really, really enjoyed this look. I think it's very post-apocalyptic. I think that it's a really cute outfit. I think the hair is cute. I like the baseball bat, and I like just the whole runway. I like your filming location, too. I think you just did really good this week. You know what I wanted with the angles. You had a pretty long runway and you sold it. Like, you gave it to us from all angles and I think it looked really great this week. Great job. And last but most certainly not least, we have Lady Dior Gypsy. This look was so cute. You went back to the Old West and I think that was a very good concept. You and Ultra both did time travel, so I'm glad that because she went in the future, you went in the past. And I think that your look was really cute, you sold it really well, and you just look really, really cute this week. Lady Dior Gypsy, you're safe. Ultra, you are one of the top two this week and you will be lip syncing for a chance to eliminate someone. Lydia, you are also in the top two and you will be lip syncing for a chance to eliminate someone. Mirage, this week your filth could have been filthier. Orchid, this week I was a little bit torn on your acid trip look because it was good. I just didn't really like the hair and I felt like it could have been elevated. And Emma, while you did good at your celebrity impersonation, it just was the weakest compared to outfits. Orchid, you're safe.
honestly, I did not think it was going to come to this. And the judges literally cannot decide. You are both the winners of the lip sync. So, if you have different people that you are going to send home, then yes, two people will be going home. Hello, it is me, Lydia Collins. This decision wasn't as hard as I thought it was going to be. I had decided that um, I would vote to eliminate. But I did decide to send home Mirage. Um, Mirage this week. I'm so sorry. I truly just see what Emma has up her sleeve. She seems really committed and excited about this race. I'm so sorry.